to roll initiative. Da, da, da. Turn track's not up. Now it is. I'm just going to do those as one. Ten. Why am I still on this map? Because we're still on this map. Oh. We're down by the library. Oh, okay. There you are. Come on. Okay, so Tavron's first. Not next. I haven't done my roll yet. Ah. <laughs> Shoot her. I'm uh, Tavron's not first. <laughs> <laughs> Wade's first. Hmm. Why is the wizard on the turn tracker? <laughs> oh, let me get rid of the wizard. That's just because it's an accident. Thank God. What can I do? We didn't actually fight the last ones. That wizard before, was he a gnome? Yeah. I wonder if that was the wizard the other beholders were talking about. Oh yeah, should have thought about that before we locked him in the... <laughs> <laughs> well they weren't beholders the other things were they? There was some, something else. They were spectators the other things. Yeah. These uh... seem to be much bigger. Oh. Green coloured. Oh, these are different to the other thing. Hmm. Um, I'm going to cast Bless on us. <laughs> At level one. Um, does anyone know anything about Beholders in our party? So you can make a, um, on your turn, you can make a... Uh, well... I'll leave it up to you to determine what kind of check. You can either try and perceive them, see if you recognise them, to make a history check or an arcana check to try and learn something about Beholder Law. To take an action or a bonus action? Um, I'd say that you could do it as a bonus action. I bless myself. Um... Creamy and um, sure. Woohoo! Okay, so whose go is it? Mine, possibly. Creamy's go. So, can I see them from where I am? No, but you can see the light emanating from the corridor. Okay, so if I have to come down here... Oh. Oh god. Terrified looking things. I might cast... I don't know if it's going to do any good, but I might cast Silence. In the corridor there. <coughs> oh. Okay. Uh, is that the end of your game? Uh, no, I can. I'm going to do a. Uh, I'm going to inspire. I'm going to inspire uh, Kurak with some 
sweet music. Fantastic. Do the um, can you stack bless and um, the other bardic inspiration? Like, can you roll to, uh, both on your game? I think so, yeah. That's pretty good. Okay, is that the end of your go? Yep. Correct, go. Mm. Okay. and cast what are you casting sorry casting bane okay so they've all got to make a charisma saving throw. If they fail, they have to detract a d4 from their attack roll or saving throws. Ooh. Right. Uh, charisma saving throw. Yeah. Against. 13, I guess. That's a good spell. Yeah. Um, they all failed. Hey. <laughs> okay. Very cool. Okay. They all. So is that the end of your game? Yeah. Okay. So there you go, and they all move. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Oh my god. That's the end of their go. Twenty. <laughs> yeah. They um. float slowly up the uh, the stairs. I forgot uh, to try, try and perceive what they were. But, uh, Morglass, it's your go. Um, I try and perceive what they are. So what was the options? You could it was perception and what was the other one? Uh, you could perceive them to see if you recognise them. Mm. Um, you could do a history check to see if you've encountered them in sort of law that you've read, mm -hmm. or a religion, or a um, not religion check, or an arcana check to see if you can detect any kind of magical essence about okay. them. Perception. I've got plus two on that, so I'll do that one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, my balls. Uh, <laughs> as they're floating up towards you, you're a bit unnerved by them and difficult to kind of grasp anything re or re recall anything from this floating abominations other than the fear that is conjuring in you. Oh, fear. Do not like. But I will you go do, um, into a rage. You do have an action. Yeah, that was a bonus action. I am raging. Okay. Do not like. Scared. Want to uh, hit. Rage is a bonus action. You've already used yours this time. Oh turn. no. Oh yeah, true. I will not rage. I will still run at them though. Okay. And I'll hit this one. Yep. Oh god. <laughs> Stay straight for it. <laughs> Twice. Oh up. god. <laughs> That's a hit. Okay, so that one's 15 damage. Yep, yeah. uh, on the impact of your axe, it immediately explodes in a cloud of spores. Oh god. Um, each creature within 20 foot of it, so that's all three of you, 
Uh, must succeed a DC 15 constitution saving throw. 15? Oh, I've got 7 on that. Did it die straight away? It died straight away, yeah. Do we get any bonuses for constitution, or is that or is it wisdom that thingy gives us? If, if you're within 50, uh, within some feet of me, you get a bonus. On constitution? Yeah. So, some people are blessed, you're not blessed, but if you're close to me, you get a bonus on saving throws. I don't think a, bo a blessing will be enough. So what is it, 14? 15. 15. 15. What's the bonus? Is it four? The um, four. But oh no, this is in addition to the bless. But um, oh, okay. Gigantor is not blessed. So I have aura of devotion. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Aura of protection. This one. If you're within ten feet of me, you get my charisma Gigantor's modifier. Gigantor's not. He's fifteen foot away from you. Uh, anyway, cool. let's see if I can do it anyway. What's the save? Uh, 15. Alright, here we go. 15. 27, bitch! Okay, so who failed? I did. Oh. <laughs> um, so only Creamy. So Creamy, you take... Um... 10 you poison damage. <laughs> Uh, what's your what's your constitution score? Constitution. Uh, Sixteen. Okay. Hang on. With creamy, yeah. Did I did I bless creamy? I blessed yeah. creamy. I was only so blessed. So that was plus four. Yeah. And then plus four from aura protection. That's eight. How many? What's your charisma modifier? Sixteen. What's your charisma modifier, Tom? Four. That's still only four. Jeez. Mm -hmm. So I so I could so that would be sixteen if I got that. But it's one D four, isn't it? It's not automatically four. For so I need to roll a D four. Sorry? Uh yeah, actually yeah, he's blessed. So yeah, and you I'm, need to roll a D four within... and if you get a three or a four then yeah, you say you've got a chance. It's not... Am I within the ten feet of yeah, you're right next to Wade. Yeah, you're next to him, oh, so yeah. 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 Well. Wow. Yep. Yeah. All the way. Yeah, right. four. Let's give I'm you a two. Death. Three, yep. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, never mind. What are the odds? 50%. That's what the odds. So, yeah, you, uh. Maths. You. Well, you I tried. Quick maths. <laughs> you take a hundred percent damage. <laughs> yeah, you uh, yeah, you, you take all the damage. Yeah. As you inhale a lung full of these acidic spores, does you poison damage? I suppose I am right next to. You. Okay, Tavron's go. I still got another go. Oh yeah, what? sorry, yeah, he's, you've just I've still got, got another go. hit. <laughs> yeah. How far out did these spores go? 20 foot. One, two. Mm. Yeah, I back off. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Um, hang on, just check my movement. 5, 10, 20, 20, 20. 40. Mm. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's me done. You just get Okay, Tavron's go. Um I will 
fire my bow. Oh boy. <laughs> <Okay>. Which one? <laughs> Which one? Okay. Oh, think about what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Um. Well, they need to die. Uh, well, they'll just walk into us on their turn anyway. Yeah, might as well do it. Do it! Yeah, we do it now! Come on! Get me! Yeah, true. Um. Kill them! That's a hit! Oh. <laughs> Eight. Yep. It immediately explodes. Um, uh, so one, two, three of you. Tavron, I think you're just outside of it. Actually, are you? Uh, five, ten, fifteen. Yeah, you're just outside of it. Um, but Kurak, um, <laughs> Creamy, and... Oh! Egg. Uh, that's a ten, isn't it? <laughs> I get advantage on saving throws. Constitution saving throws. Well, I, apparently, I, with my cloak, I get constitution and all saving throws. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, I've made it. Fuck's sake, I gonna fucking. <laughs> How much damage did you take last time? Yeah. I saved. I done. Okay. Uh, Is that and... dead? Yeah, that's everyone. Yeah, and that one dies. So I still take like five damage. Alright, Ben. No, no, you don't take any on a successful save. Is that you? Okay. Which one just died? The yeah. one in front. So the only one alive is the one behind. Oh. So it's Wade's go. Okay. <laughs> Rocker. I will. Um. <laughs> I suppose. I know what I'll do. My most successful ever spell to date. Oh god. Come. <laughs> <laughs> um. Come on. <laughs> Back. That's why I say so. Okay. Oh. And what language are you talking it to it in? <laughs> Sorry? In its language. Um it seems to have no effect. <laughs> <laughs> What language did you say it in? Well, whatever language he chooses doesn't understand language, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's never worked that well, ever. <laughs> I hate that spell. I'm never going to memorise it again. It never worked. Okay, and are you doing anything else? Yes, I'm moving. <laughs> 20 feet back. Okay. I'll go back in. Creamies go. Uh, I commanded myself to flee. <laughs> back! Then I will. <laughs> Just hit it and suck up them spores. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a swing at this guy. Now you don't get my bonus because I've moved away. Or <laughs> bless. You need to move uh, forward to engage it. Ten foot. Yeah. You'll still get bless. Oh, how long does it last for? It lasts for a minute. Uh, 
Oh, wow. Eleven mm-hmm. is a hit. Uh, it immediately explodes. You beat its five armor class and one hit point. Mm, I've just accidentally <laughs> rolled initiative. Never mind. Uh, so. <laughs> Fucks. So yeah, you take <laughs> another ten poison damage. <laughs> That's not that bad. Oh, I'm just. Okay. Uh, and they all seem to have been destroyed. Seem to. Seem to. The glowing sort of bodies are uh, slumped on the ground, and uh, they seem to be almost plant-like or fungal in their construction. Can I try and perceive what they are now? Yeah. Make a nature oh. check. Oh, I know what these are. These are... <laughs> oh. With sudden horror, Kurak realises indeed what these creatures are. They're not beholder kin of any kind. You've encountered them before when you went into the, um, the fungal layer of the, um, the mushroom folk. These oh, are death yeah. spores. And anyone that inhales their uh, spores will die in a number of hours. <laughs> what about two sets of spores? Minutes. Uh, it's based on the, uh, how resilient you are. So your constitution determines how long you have to live. Is there anything that can be done? <laughs> 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 um, is it, can we do like a check to see if anything can be done? Uh, make a make another nature check. Everyone, how could we help Creamy? Well, I think we could do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. So it it's. Trini is diseased by the spores. The spores will progress through her system unless you can cure the disease. That guy mm. might have had some spells. Disease Wait, cures. do you have any cure disease sort of spell? I do. Yeah. I, I have no detect poison or disease. Well, how good is it? Well, I'm fine. I don't know about you, Gigantor. Fraud! <laughs> I walk down the corridor whistling. Wait, are you casting Lesser Restoration? Yes. On Creamy. Creamy, you feel the spores within you, uh, which had started to affect your breathing, uh, slowly disappear. And the sort of um, clamminess and like difficulty in breathing is alleviated. You feel uh, immediately back to yourself again. Minus do... a bit of poison damage. Don't do that again, because I've run out of spells. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, at least we remembered what they were. <laughs> Otherwise, Creamy would have just dropped dead. <laughs> yeah, that's quite lucky, really. Do you have a little looky down here, then? Looky, looky, I got hooky. So, yeah, there's a, um, there seems to be a lush um, plant nursery of overgrown shrubs and trees fed by human remains that the plants and tangled ferns are growing in and around Mm. is there any light Uh, there's a staircase that's heading uh, lower still oh Mm. yeah can we have a goosey gander around the, the undergrowth We 
that be perception or investigation? Uh, perception, it would be. Here we go. 20. Nice. Uh, you do find a hand um, that's got oh. a, a, a bony hand jutting out of the uh, um, the dirt that's got oh. a, a very elegant gold bracelet on it. Oh. Shut him off. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? Nothing? Uh, no, that was it. Everything here has been picked clean or disintegrated with time. Just like to walk down the stairs. Oh my god. So you descend down? into a sort of a dormitory uh, with corpses of gnomes littering the floor and still withered, uh, mummified gnome skeletons laying in their beds. Just a oh. load of dead things down here. Nothing to worry about. Yeah. Why so dead? Um, well, I found, might have a little rummage around here with some perception. Yeah, six. Uh, you go to inspect one of the beds, and as you oh, touch I'll it, it sort of disintegrates. Oh, it seems I have had some help. Let me roll that again. But you do find, as in the wreckage of the bed that you touched, uh, hold on, uh, a fist-sized diamond, six gold pieces. Yeah, better than a slap on the arse. <laughs> We all bounce on the beds. So good fun. More stairs down here, boys. Where is everyone? Sorry, just wait for a second. What's going on? Um, come down some so stairs. We're down the stairs. Oh, there's another set of stairs. Another door at the bottom as well. Can I have a little rummage around the corpses? Beds. Does the door at the bottom have a keyhole? Yeah, you can peek through. Through the keyhole. That might Let's be the room. Have a look through the keyhole. Oh shit, I thought you were talking about this one. There's some more... Um, down there, there's a door. Down oh, the sorry, yeah, no, I, um, I was I was talking about the the room that Giganta was. Double next doors. To. Oh. Um, yeah. I'd... Um, make a perception check. Twenty-four. Still black water, just a slight ripple moving across it beneath. Huh. Oh, which means so I, I reckon that water leads this. to the horrible thing, the corona, coronavirus. Exactly. Um, what's going on with the door on the south of the room? No keyhole in this door. Oh, fuck's sake! You know what that means. I reckon this might be towards the old uh, gibbering wreck. I think right. a big boot's got to hit this big door. <laughs> <laughs> Is it unlocked anyway? It's unlocked. It doesn't matter. <laughs> right. I'll step away from the door. I'll back, up, back, up, back off and I start sprinting. I jump on top of one of the beds, bouncing, and then drop kick the door. <laughs> you need the sound effect. Roar! 
<laughs> With many echoes as it ripples. <laughs> roll, 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 roll a um roll a athletics check then. Roll eighteen. Oh. Yeah. Here we go, we're through. <laughs> Definitely check for traps. Yeah, so I'm uh, only yeah, good for so clicking things. There's a bare stone corridor, dusty and still and unlit. Perceiving for traps. Don't notice any traps of any kind. Mm, what about if we perceive uh, cracks or loose tiles? But as you're rounding the corner, you do hear faintly coming from the next chamber. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! 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 I think I it's really time. Really yeah. start running All right. roads lead to gibbering. I think yeah, gibbering needs to go. Oh. Right, let's fuck it up. Gibbering's the two. <laughs> Either that or let's take a swim in the lake. Can I have a long rest? Should we rest in this death chamber? <laughs> it seems like a really nice place to sleep. <laughs> um, Why didn't we go up the... Um, the like cave way. It was a hundred and twenty foot vertical climb, I think. Oh, it right. might be the exit. Maybe. I think the answer is killing this Cronenberg. It's got to be there for a reason. Or not. <laughs> what about the serpent thing in the other? In the pool. Do we have to kill that? Let's kill thing. everything. What's, What's the thing that makes, makes the ripple? We don't know yet. Mm. I thought that would link to the Cronenberg. Does anyone need a long rest? I, I would, wouldn't would mind one, but... I don't need one, but I, we can have one. If people need them before we battle this weird thing. Then okay. suggest we do. If Creamy can summon her orb of happy sleep. Oh yeah. Should we do that then? I don't know where. Everyone's gone to sleep. For a long rest. <laughs> So what's going on? Um, we were going to get Creamy to do her um, sanctuary or whatever it was called, um, and then have a rest in it. Up. Yeah. And then have a long rest in there. Where is Creamy? <laughs> Is Creamy asleep? <laughs> no. I am just back. No. So, they want you to cast Lehman's Tiny Hut. Well. <laughs> yep, go on in. I've done that. Should I do Make it for us. you? Make us a comfy bed for the night, Creamy. Just setting myself back up. Shut up. <laughs> Should I do it for you, Dave? Hold on, hold on. I know, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm back. 
Ooh, so, uh, with a, a few words, um, some hand gestures, um, and the uh, consumption of a small crystal bead from uh, Creamy and Spell components, Liaman's tiny hut appears in the centre of the room. Night, guys. I go hey, outside and Okay, are you having a sleep? Yeah, long rest. Can Tavern okay. have like a half awake sleep? So, uh, you all settled down for a night's sleep. Actually, you have no very little uh, idea of what time of day it is. You've been down here for hours and hours. You don't know what day or what time it is. I don't even know what we're doing down here. <laughs> um, about an hour goes by. Wade, you're finding it difficult to sleep. <laughs> Oh. Um, it's <laughs> almost like you're being watched. <laughs> Creamy. Mm -hmm. You suddenly come into focus, into consciousness. There's a dark figure sitting on your chest. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Got one scroll of protection from evil left. Wanna get off used that? I can't I can't you I can't cast any spells, I've used all my spells now. I've got the scroll left. Can um, I try and push the? But you've point? you've you've felt this before, and this is this is different. You don't feel the weight this time. It's just an, a memory or an idea, but there's a presence there with you, not physically here, but communicating with you. Wow. Can it attack us in the puff? It's not really there. It's not a nightmare haunting. Maybe. Is, is, is that Joshua Longfart? <laughs> <laughs> Creamy. I have something to show you. Come with me. Easy sailor. A dark hand <laughs> Clawed fingers uh, stretches out uh, and offers offers you its hand. Yeah, go on then. I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> you sort of come away from your body and into a dark place. You see a figure in front of you. Uh, a figure you recognise. Broad shoulders, very tall. It's gigantor. You approach, but he seems not to recognise you, not to <laughs> notice you. The dark figure that's leading you places its hands on gigantor's head one uh, from behind, what fingers round its chi uh, his chin, and whispers, moves close to Gigantor's ear and whispers in its his ear. It's time to choose Gigantor, who will be my last victim. You see as if a spotlight in front of you, three women standing there. The first you recognise 
immediately and it pains you to see her there stood in front of Gigantor, vulnerable, innocent and sweet. It's Bubbles. Bubbles? The second you don't recognise at all. Beautiful, uh, tall, Goliath woman. The same race as Gigantor. The third staring in a mirror for it's you staring back blank <laughs> uh, Gigantor thing. looks pained and worried by this decision and after a long drawn out moment he says I choose bubbles Immediately, the three figures vanish. The Gigantor vanishes, leaving you alone in the darkness with this dark figure. You see, Creamy, you blame me, you blame my sisters, but we are merely forces of nature doing what we have done for generations. We are the runaway carriage. And it was your friend who pushed poor Bubbles in our path. Who is really to blame? Can I, can I do anything? Can I like, um, do I, do I have a sort of physical presence? Uh, it's a dream, so you it sort of seems to be a lucid dream, so you can Yeah, you can do do whatever you want. I angrily cast vicious mockery. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the spell seems to be absorbed by the shadow and has no effect. Creamy, you have much untapped power and anger. Much That's of the Fey inside of you. You could be strong. You could be great. Join us. Complete our circle. I feel like I shouldn't abandon my friends. But then again, you know, I don't really like them. <laughs> Especially Wade. <laughs> Your friends betrayed poor Bubbles. Why, why did why did Gigantor choose to What's all this about Gigantor choosing Bubbles to die? I gave him the choice. Who would be the next victim? And he chose. And he also chose not to tell you. Why didn't he just kill you? I came to him like this, in a dream. There's a place for you amongst us. Come to the water. Yeah, come to the water. And slowly you sink back into sleep. Uh, and for a moment you uh, you almost drift off again. But there's this eerie sense that you're still being watched and it startles you awake. Uh, Wade, you're convinced that there's something in this tent with you. you something gnawing at the back of your mind. You can feel a presence that, you, that shouldn't be here. I'm going to divine sense. I can just do that, can't I? Yeah. 
There are two undead standing above you. <laughs> Either side of you. Above me, what? Well, above me in the dome. Well, Are you're we... you're asleep, and they are standing above. You're you're on your back asleep, and they're standing above you, watching a watching, looking down on you. But are they in the dome? they they've always been in the dome. <laughs> when you cast the dome, they were already inside the area of effect. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to turn the unholy. Uh, I think you need to roll initiative. <laughs> I think everyone needs to roll initiative. <laughs> I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So oh. the first round will be a surprise round with Wade ah. and Creamy being the only ones aware. I can't be surprised. I you can because you're asleep. I have feral instincts. My instincts are so honed that you have advanced for If you are surprised at the beginning of combat and aren't incapacitated, I will sleep in com I'd say sleep is incapacitated. Motherfucker. This was the wrong room to cast this. <laughs> <laughs> we should have done it in a nice garden. <laughs> okay. Uh, hang on, where's my initiative? Where am I? Initiative. Twelve and... No. Twelve. Oh, come on. There we go. Where did we have a long rest? <laughs> the battle music's not playing. Very upsetting. Uh, At what point have they woken us up? Is this like one hour in or like seven hours in? Is the music playing for you? No. No. One sec, I'll just refresh it. Uh, it was about an hour. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Getting awakened before my for my hours sends me into a rage. Just so you know. <laughs> Music, combat. Oh, I loaded the wrong thing. Oh, for <laughs> One second. It's so quiet. I know. <laughs> It's eerie. Just imagine there's crystal maze. Here we go. Stop the fans. What's this one? Right, yes, good. Okay. So uh, up first is the Invisible Stalker. What challenge? Oh, there we go. Um, so they get advantage on an attack because you are um, prone. Oh, God. 23. On Wade. That's a hit. 
12 bludgeoning damage. Oh. <gasps> uh, 26. That's a hit. Uh, 16, 18 bludgeoning damage. And now the other one attacks you. Oh my god. 18, 18 bludgeoning. Okay. Oh 26. my god. That's a hit. Uh, 17, 19 bludgeoning damage. Jesus fucking... Oh dear. And the last one... 18. It meets it. It beats it. Oh, it beats it. 13 it. bludgeoning it. damage. I'm dead. Wow. <laughs> 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 oh. Uh, it's creamy as going. <laughs> the only one that's good at fighting undead. <laughs> Just dead. Oh, God. You got any healing? You got very unlucky on those rolls. It got two critical hits. Mm. Uh, creamy as go. Jamie's go. My go. Oh. <laughs> right. What was that? Oh, they've just killed Wade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Or at least uh, knocked him out. I. Uh, they've only knocked Wade out. Okay. I hack at Wade's neck. <laughs> okay. So, uh, as you become aware, so um, you can't see any enemies, so make a strike with disadvantage. Okay. Should I just roll again? Yeah. And wh where are you hitting? Blindly. In what direction? Oh. Uh, towards Wade. But not at Wade, obviously. Uh, so, north, south, east, or west of Wade? Uh, we'll go... We'll go uh, north. Okay. Uh, you do hit your first attack. Wonderful. Yeah. Oh. Four. What? <laughs> it's just a four. roll. Oh. The one. <laughs> okay, you've got another at attack, so roll again with disadvantage. Yeah. Now he knows where it is. Is it disadvantage? Well, it's still invisible. It could dodge out of the way if it retired. Do a couple of bad rolls. Uh, you miss, unfortunately. Oh. Swiftly dodges out of the way. Rubbish. Okay. Tavron is asleep. <laughs> Kurak is asleep. Um, Would I not wake him up? Is <laughs> sweat. This, this counts as asleep, and then you'll be awake the next round from the commotion. Uh, and Wade is makes a death save. How do I do that? It's on your character sheet. Hmm. You should be familiar with death saves, Wade. You've killed more characters than anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Torch death save. Is this because I killed two in one fight? Sick burn. Well, I'm quite surprised that they killed you outright. <laughs> I'm not that strong. That's a fail. <laughs> oh no. Can what happens if you heal an unconscious body? Then it immediately is succeeds all its death saves and is alive again. Oh. Pretty good. Uh, okay, so. Now it's one of these things go. 
Uh, it's going to attack Gigantor. Do your worst. I'm awake now, though. Yeah, but you're still prone. It's a miss, little miss, bitch. Miss. And 26. Jesus Christ. That's a miss. Uh, oh, so 20, 20 bludgeoning damage. <sighs> and Bastard. then it's the other one's go. And it's going to attack Kurak. Oh, yeah. A hit. Uh, seven. I uh like that, so seven. Four. Uh, yeah. Miss. And a miss. You bastard. Okay. Creamy's go. Okay. I still can't say. Can I? Do I, do I have the? Yeah, I can still do it. I could do dispel magic. Okay. Um, I'm not sure this would work, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Um, I'd say roll a spell check. So, your spell, roll your spell casting ability. Uh, so uh, yours is charisma, right? Yeah. So roll a charisma d20 charisma. No. Okay. Uh, they do come into visibility, or at least one of them does. Yes. Which one? Oh. <sighs> you see, like a twisted shadow like creature. Hiya. Um, are you doing anything else with your game? Uh, me. No, I don't think so. Okay. Tavron's go. Um, stabby stab in the back. Okay, okay. Actually, I'll use my rapier. Twelve is a miss, unfortunately. Balls. Um. Can I hide under this bed? <laughs> uh, you can try, yeah. Okay. Do you not get two attacks? Do I get two attacks? Uh, I don't think so. Um. Okay, no, I think you're well hidden. Uh, Kurax, go. Uh, hmm. Does he know where he got hit from? Yeah, can I feel where I got hit? Uh, it was uh, above you, to the right of the bed. There. Mm hmm. Uh, 
I am going to fire guiding bolt. Do it at disadvantage. Disadvantage, please. Fourteen. It hits. Yes. So, what happens to the guiding bolt? It. it What's the light, description? It lights it up like Christmas. Okay, so. Sixteen damage. So, for the purpose of this, then it is visible now. Little bitch. And takes 15 damage. <laughs> and I'm going to get out my Warhammer. Two handed Warhammer. Okay. Um, is that the end of your game? Yeah. Gigantor. <sighs> Seeing all this sends me into a mindless rage. <laughs> <laughs> and I <coughs> hit it with my great axe. Normal, good, rage, good. Raw! 14. 14 to hit. Raw! 13 damage. Okay. How's he looking? Uh, this one's not been hit yet, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll do it again. Oh, 15. And... 11 damage. Okay. 13 and 11. Alright. So you hit this shadow stuff, and... Uh, it sort of reforms again, but less um, uh, well resolved than before. Wade. You. Let's do a death save. Oh yeah, you need to make a death saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> That's a success. Do I need to get three successes? Yep. A 20 is a critical success, and one is a critical failure. So you've one. got. So if you get a one next turn, you immediately die. <laughs> Has anyone got like, a potion? <laughs> Just pass me. I think Creamy's got okay. a healing spell, aren't you? Okay, the invisible no. stalk the the very visible stalker is going to attack Gigantor. You can try. Oh god. Oh, god. Double crit have they got oh. a boost on critical or something? He doesn't have advantage anymore. But still. <laughs> that they, would have been have, critical. They've got fifty percent critical hits. I can't explain it. <laughs> uh yeah, try it worst. Uh so what? that's a lot of damage. Uh, 22, is that? Yeah, so I'm going to yeah. take that down to 11. Because I am really critical. And... Yeah, that's... Ooh, 14. So that's 7. And 37. And the other one's going to attack... Uh, Kurak for... 10. So I've got my Warhammer out, so it gives me bludgeoning resistance, so only five. Okay, and 11's probably a miss, right? Yeah. I'm looking on about half HP at the moment. Just so you guys... Creamy is going. Uh... He'll wait. He'll wait. <laughs> No, I'm in too bad a mood over the uh, <laughs> over the dream. Just for a hack and slash. That's a hit. Hell. Okay, and you get another attack if you want. Yeah, I do.
That's also a hit. Cool, so 22 damage. The shadow stuff's looking about half formed now. Quite tough. Uh, are you moving or doing any bardic inspiration? No. Tavron's gay. I won't even get out from underneath this bed. I'll just <laughs> try and slash at this creature's Achilles heel. Oh, <laughs> brutal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good hit. Uh, you have advantage. That's still a hit, but yeah, roll again. Yes. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's a hit. 28. <sighs> What kind of... quite poorly formed now, this one. What kind of Achilles hill did you just hack at? <laughs> uh, and I will stay hidden. Well, it knows where you are now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll switch to the bed on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> but round the back of him, so he can't see. Okay. Correct. Uh, go. Okay. I am going to move to here. And cast cure wounds. Oh, good. <laughs> but at least he's back. Wade's got three hit points. Nice. Is he alive? Yeah, yeah he's alive, yeah. That's good. Uh, are you doing anything else? Uh, no. Uh, Giganto, are your guy? Okay. I will... Axe this guy again. Oh, 14. That's a hit. Nice. That's 15 damage. Okay. And I'll try again. 25. That's definitely a hit. And that's 13 damage. It's very, very badly injured now. Hanging on by a few swiffy, uh, whiff, smoky whiffs. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> Whist is the word I was looking for, but I <laughs> all I could think of was whiff. Uh, are you doing anything else? Um, no, I think we can probably take them without me doing spending exhaustion. Uh, Wade, you're going. You've got three hit points. Right, so I'm going to. I'm going to take your hit points off. Let's find that top loose. Lay hands on myself. Okay. And with 18 of my pool, well, use it up. So what? What's your hit points up to? 21. Okay. Uh, are you moving? Uh, no. Okay. So this one's going to. Uh, attack Wade. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is, is going on? Wrong with this? Uh, oh, jeez. So, what's that? Um, 21. <laughs> 21. Um, 
You are yeah. dead again. I think actually on zero hit points you're just knocked out. Then you had twenty two hit points. No. Eighteen plus three. Oh, oh god. god. <laughs> oh for goodness. <laughs> so I don't think you're dying, I think you're just knocked out. So I saw Wade rise from the ashes. <laughs> and it's going to attack Morglath for a second attack. That's hit. Almost bloody critical again. Why wouldn't Eight. it be? That's four damage then. Beautiful. This this is mad that it gets so many criticals. In fact, it's rolled very well. Uh, too, too well. Mm. Mm. Okay, so this one's going to move 5, 10. Oh, you were engaged with this one, Joe. It would have got an attack of opportunity against you. Oh, yeah. So I'll do three hits. One. So that's the attack of opportunity. Miss. Yeah. And then miss. And then a hit. Yeah. For 12 bludgeoning damage. That's six. Cool. Creamies go. Double slash. What's that? Ten is a miss. Twenty seven critical is definitely a hit. Finally, we get one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, it's enough. You send Yay. this one back to the ether. One left. Are you Nicely moving? Done. You've got. You've, you're not engaged with anything, so you're free to move. Uh, no, it's okay. Okay. Tavron's go. Am I hidden from this one? Uh, you don't know. You get advantage on this, by the way. Anyone that attacks that. Oh, so you get your attack of opportunity anyway. You get your sneak attack anyway, because you've got advantage. Alright. Um, I will carefully... <laughs> um... jump out with my rapier oh my God. towards his head. To this okay. one? Oh fuck. That's oh wait, old... get advantage. A big old jump. Oh, <laughs> Alright, well you must be engaged with it now, I guess. Uh, Kurak. I am going to unleash oh, wait, all I, mm, Can I move after making the attack? Yeah, it will, but get, it will a... get an attack of opportunity against you. Fuck Actually, up. it won't because it's used it. Um, oh. Right, I'll go behind here and try and hide. <laughs> Havron doesn't even see himself anymore. Okay. More glass go. Well, I'm to my go. Oh, sorry, correct go. <laughs> I'm gonna unleash hell with blow after blow. <laughs> Warhammer. Hit. Warhammer. Hit. Monk hit. Miss. Monk hit. Hit. Wait, if I miss one, I can do... No, it's not worth it. Save that. So, seven... Five. 21. Okay. <gasps> yeah, this one's looking about half-formed now. Oh my god. Jesus. Um, Wade, you're unconscious. Uh, it's that one's dead. So the creatures go. So it's going to unleash into Kurak. Isn't it Mika? Oh yeah, sorry, I missed Morgla. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Jesus. 
Blow. Blow. Ah, step over to him. Foot goes through the bed. <laughs> um, Probably would. And I will. I'm going to do a frenzied. Is it frenzy? No, not frenzy. Uh, a reckless attack, which basically gives me advantage. But if this creature attacks me, it will get advantage. You've already got me. advantage. I do? How come? Yeah. Because it's lit up. Oh, like nice. A bolt. Oh, perfect. Great. Um, I'll just smash it then. Oh, God, 13. I think that's a miss, isn't it? That's yeah. a miss. 14. Oh, that's a hit. How is that so uh, 15 damage. Okay. And has it already um, done its attack of opportunity, did you say? Uh, yeah. Ah, that's all. Step away. Okay. So it's now its go, and it's going to attack um, Kurak twice. So for uh, 22. Yeah. And a 10. Yes. Uh, 11 bludgeoning damage. That's Nice. Yeah, cool. Creamy's go. Okay. Slash. Uh, you need to move five foot in front of it. Well, five foot forward. But yeah, that's a hit. Okay, and you got another attack. Twelve is a mess, unfortunately. It's looking quite injured now. Tavron. Did he say he'd be right back? Oh, did he? I think so, yeah. Shall I do his attack? Yeah, do his biz. Okay. Um. Uh, I'll do it with the rapier. Oh. Yeah, that's it. It would be advantage, so let's just... Yeah. Any guess? 13, 23. Oh. Brutal. Okay, yeah, it's looking very, very damaged now. It's hardly formed at all. Excellent. Correct. Well, well, well. Taste blue. Oh. It hit. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Six. I rolled oh. a one and a three out of ten. It's a Warhammer plus four. Uh, Gigantor, finish him off. <laughs> Not, not the first time I've had that. What have right. you got? Let's, uh, let's finish him off, as you say. <laughs> -la 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 -la. 25. That's a hit. Uh, 14. How do you want to do this? Um, I pick up Wade's unconscious body. And throw him against the ghoulie. <laughs> <laughs> and with uh, a clang of Wade's body against it, um, enough to jolt him awake, I should say. <laughs> uh, and I scream, Divine Intervention! As I do it. Okay. So, 
with that combat draws to a close and we will leave it here for tonight Yay. can we have a long rest <laughs> in our heart <laughs> alright I will catch you all later nice nice a good sesh good game GG